Saturn retrograde, is it good or bad? Or, you know, does it even make sense to interpret things in such simplistic terms? I see this all the time, Saturn retrograde here, there, you know, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. What is it actually? So, what does it mean if you have Saturn retrograde in a particular house, anywhere in the chart? Okay, well, what does it mean? You know, there, there are a lot of things that it means. But today, let's try to boil it down to 10 things which it can mean. And for you specifically, depending on your chart, among the 10, actually there could be more than 10, there could be 100 or 5,000, 10,000. But depending on your chart, some of these will be more prominent than others, okay? I'll tell you in between. If you uh, hear the video till the end, you will know which ones will be more prominent for you and under which circumstances because every chart is different, okay? So, if you think by hearing this, you will think, uh, you will get to know everything, then it doesn't work like that, okay? So, so you should hear this video till the end and also analyze your chart. I will tell you for every point when it can be worse or when it might not exist for you, okay? So, the first thing that you have is delayed success. Now, delayed success, what does it mean, delayed success? No, It can mean in any area of life, but depending on the houses that Saturn is involved with, which means which house Saturn is in the Bhavachalit chart, if you don't know what is Bhava Chalit chart, please go and type exotic astrology Bhava Chalit chart and you will find the video Saturn's placement should only be seen in the Bhava Chalit chart, not in the Lagna chart, not in the Lagna chart, only in the BCC Bhava Chalit chart. Please see the video that I have, only then you will be able to know. So suppose your Saturn is retrograde, but in the Bhava Chalit you will know where it is, which house it is. So now, which whichever house Saturn is placed in, that house and the houses that Saturn rules. So in the Bhavachali chart, wherever Capricorn and Aquarius is falling, those two houses are also lauded by Saturn and Saturn will be placed somewhere. So these three houses, sometimes in the Bhavachali, one sign can disappear. So it could be, you know, Saturn might lord one house or, yeah, two houses. So depending on your Bhavachali chart, if, let's assume there are three houses, you know, two houses Saturn rules and one house Saturn is placed in. So, let's assume there are three houses. So, there could be delays regarding these three houses. So, for example, suppose in your Bhavachali chart, Saturn is ruling your 10th house. So, then there could be delays in your profession. But, suppose your overall chart is strong, like, you know, Lagna Lord, 10th Lord, these um, planets are very strong, your know, Dashamsha is good then the delay will be reasonable. Otherwise, it will be exponential, okay? It's like your whole 20s is, is go are gone, you know, you don't have any job. It's like, it could be extreme, okay? But if the overall chart is good, it could be like, you know, sometimes you struggle, you know, one or two years, you are out of job. So it will be up to that level, okay? So the overall chart must be seen, okay? Number two, there, there is karmic backlog. So again, three houses, suppose, you know, Saturn is indicating two lord, two houses it's ruling and one house it is placed. So there are karmic backlogs. Now what is karmic backlog? Karmic backlog means there are certain things which you have to pay back. So for example, you have, uh, your Saturn is the sixth lord and it is retrograde. And in your overall chart, your eighth house, twelfth house, they are also very prominent. Okay, So your chart is not very good when it comes to, you know, profession. Then if your 6th Lord uh, Saturn or suppose Saturn is in the 6th in the Bhav Chalit and it is retrograde, then it can mean that you are suffering from scandals uh, in your job, in your workplace. Somebody has put some fake allegation against you. Okay, Why? Because in past lifetime you have done the same to that person or maybe to somebody else. So now that person is giving that back to you. So in short, if your horoscope is not the best or certain placements are not the best or certain areas are not the best then if you have a retrograde Saturn it is very dangerous okay so this is what I've tried to tell you so for example but on the other hand if you have a retrograde Saturn in the sixth and your overall chart is very good for your profession then you you might be a bit revolutionary you know you may not get along with your colleagues you know you may think differently you may want to do things differently your dasha will tell you whether 
whether you will get to do it differently or not. So then it may uh, give a positive side or else if the 8th house, 12th house is involved, oh, it's serious trouble, all right? So be watchful. Number three, wherever Saturn is influencing in a retrograde way, the lordships and the house and could be also the aspects also, there is requirement of deep introspection, reflection. So if Saturn is retrograde, suppose in your fourth house, in your Bhavachali chart, then something to do with your homeland, your mother, your car, home, something or the other, you know, you finalize something, suppose you decide I'll buy this house, but you buy it and you cannot stay there for some reason. So these problems can come, provided if the 8th lot, 12th lot joins, okay. Otherwise, if your chart is good and Saturn is retrograde in the 4th house, then there will be problems, but you will come back and you may return back to your homeland. You could become a great politician or somebody like that. Okay. So, the classic example of a retrograde Saturn in the fourth house is of Prabhu Sri Ram, right? He had exalted Saturn retrograde in the fourth chart and he, of course, Vishnu himself, he's Narayan, so he has the best chart. <laughs> best does not mean like easy, but highest potential. He's God himself. So, Therefore, you, you we saw that he was sent out for one of us, 14 years of exile by his mother, stepmother, KK. But then he came back and he ruled Ayodhya for 11,000 years. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, so if the chart is strong, it's a temporary setback. If the chart is problematic, you might have to seek asylum somewhere. Your homeland, the people in your homeland doesn't want you. Okay, or they want you back to put you in jail. <laughs> All right. Number four, there could be external challenges related to the houses that Saturn is involved with if it is retrograde. So external chain challenges means, you know, it could be in a professional sense. Like, for example, if your Saturn is retrograde in a third house, you, you could have legal troubles with your neighbors. Or with your brothers, sisters, siblings, you know, cousins, acquaintances. Or you are randomly going out somewhere, short short distance trip and you know, you screw it up and then somebody puts a case against you. So, if the horoscope is not good and your dashas are bad, then the houses that Saturn is ruling. If it is fifth house or you know, wherever it's placed, then you know, subordinates. You, you know what which houses represent what, right? So then, what happens is, they will put some court case or they will try to defame you. You know, 9,000 some senior will try to defame you or you know, they will put court case or whatever. So they will try to suck your energy and your assets. Okay, so externally you need to be careful. So for example, if your uh, Saturn is influencing the 10th house, so you need to be very careful at your workplace. Okay, what things you are doing, always keep a proof if your senior is telling you something, have it in written, you know, in the email. Otherwise, you do something and then something goes wrong and your senior will say, oh, no, I never said, I never told you to do this. And then you have no proof, right? So, therefore, externally, the people involved with those houses, third house, as I said, siblings, brothers, sisters, be careful, be a keep a check on these people, the houses that Saturn rules, okay? And... Of course, where Saturn is placed. It's very important. Number five, there could be strained relationships regarding uh, to the houses that Saturn is involved with in retrogression. So, for example, if you have Saturn retrograde in the fifth or Saturn is lording the fifth and it's retrograde, then relationships with your children might suffer. Long-term relationships, okay? So, one thing is, as I said, in point number four, I said, you know, there could be external challenges, which means if suppose Saturn is linked with your four, fifth house, so then your subordinates can occasionally create problems. But number five is, you know, long term, the primary karakas, you know, the primary elements of that house, you know, like fourth house, long term association, mother, fifth house, children, you know, sixth house, health, seventh house, marriage. These are long term associations. You, you might have long-term problems, not just, you know, temporary, like, you know, you are going somewhere and some problem happens, okay? Long-term association problems. So, if Saturn is involved with the seventh house, retrograde, there could be serious problems with your married life, okay? Now, this can also be good uh, if the chart is good, but in general, it's problematic, okay? 
But again, you also need a bad dasha for this to happen. It just does not mean Saturn retrograde in 7th, you will not get married or you will have a divorce or a bad marriage. It does not mean that. If the 6th house is activated, then it's a serious problem. So suppose you got married at 25 and uh, when you are 30, your 6th house Mahadasha starts. So then there could be separation or divorce because you also have a difficult position in the 7th, right? So that's how you will know. Long-term associations, long-term relationships can undergo strain. And short-term also, as I said, point number four. Now, number six, there could be serious health issues pertaining to that body part which Saturn represents. So suppose Saturn is lording your second house, so there could be some permanent problem with your teeth, you know. You might have bad, bad eating habits, like, you know, or you might be addicted to like alcohol, you know, all this, uh, all these things basically. Now, third house, your ENT might always be in trouble, okay. Ear, neck, throat, all this. So, you you know which house represents which body organ, right? So, body organ, body part. So, those things might go for a perpetual, yeah, it's like perpetual problems. It's like chronic, never-ending problems could be there, okay. But, if your 5th house, ninth house is strong, so you will be able to keep it under a manageable extent. And if the dasha is good, you may not have those diseases surfacing, okay. So, for example, if your Mahabhata is good, so then you might encounter some problems, you know, like Saturn is associated with the 7th or there could be problems in your reproductive organs, but it will be temporary. But if the dasha is also bad and your lagnish is badly placed, then then it's a severe crisis, okay? You 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 may lose your potency or, you know, you may not be able to get pregnant or something. So, this is very extreme, okay? <clears throat> so, depending on the overall chart, the severity will be decided, okay? Now, number seven, very important. There could be financial restraints. So, what, is, what does this mean? Financial restraint means, suppose Saturn is retrograde in your fourth house. Something or the other is always happening in your house, you know, the physical building, and you are losing money. Okay, or you want to buy a house, it is not happening because you know you don't have down payment, or the bank is not sanctioning the loan. Third house, suppose you are you, you give money to your brother, he's not giving you back. Okay, so financially, there could be some karmic uh, payback again. Same lesson, you know, number two, karmic backlog, right. <laughs> So, you could suffer financially because Saturn is also the Karaka for the Dashamsha chart. So, therefore, whichever houses Saturn is involved with, you need to be careful with the people related to that house. Think 10 times before giving money to them. Or like, for example, if uh, Saturn is associating with a Saturn house and it's retrograde, then preferably don't give money to any family member or, you know, your relative or anybody. Preferably unless it's extremely required and it's an emergency because most likely they will not pay you back. Okay, So either you uh, save the relation or you save the money. Okay, Both are not possible sometimes. But if the 8th house is involved, so suppose you have given money to somebody, 7th house Saturn, 7th Lord Saturn, you gave money to your business partner and then your 8th house is activated. Then the money is gone 100%. Otherwise, it may not go. It may go temporarily and it may come back, okay? And when the dasha of the 11th house, 10th house is activated, then you get the money back, okay? But if the 8th, 12th is there, then forget it. That's gone, okay? Number 8, increased responsibilities. Saturn retrograde in the 4th. Your mother might have some, you know, illness which you have to treat and, you know, it is so severe, you have to you have to leave your job and you have to be there full time, you know, or seventh house, you know, your spouse. Yeah, I mean, you just name it and it's there. Okay, fifth house, you know, maybe one of your children is specially able and he or she needs special attention. So, so it's like increased responsibility. So, it's more than normal, you know, or maybe if Saturn is associated with the Lagna, then your health, you know, maybe some body part is not working and it's like perpetual, never ending. You are spending money, you are right. You have to use, you know, some instrument to get it running, get it going, even in a normal age, okay. Not when you are like 70, 80, even when you are 15 or 20, then it can happen, all right. So 
that's unfortunate but that's like a karmic thing but you need to understand that if uh if if this is uh, if the overall chart is not bad then this will be temporary for example your trines are strong but saturn is associating with the lagna and retrograde then what happens is temporarily you have some accident uh, yeah some disease for 2 3 years you know and then it goes okay and the dasha good dasha comes other but if the 8th house or 12th house is involved you you may be like you know you will lose one of your organs or something like that you know or you may have to do surgery you know it's like yeah very difficult placement if saturn is retrograde in you know kendra or a kendra lord provided the chart is difficult so now you know how to actually study this okay <laughs> now number 9 it can give you great insights for spiritual progress why because you may not get the area which saturn involves with so for example saturn in 7th or 7th lord retrograde and the chart is bad you know lagna is 6th house 6th lord in lagna all this crazy stuff is there 10th lord in the 6th 6th lord in the 10th all this madness is there so either you get divorced or you never get married so then what happens you become a monk or you know you stay celibate you you focus on your spiritual life so sometimes you may get married or you may not if saturn associates with the 7th or 6th but even if you get married you may be frustrated your life may not be the best so then what do you do either you get into depression and that will happen if your 8th house is you know prominent but if your 5th and 9th is prominent you will elevate yourself spiritually so just because you have a retrograde saturn in 7th you know marriage won't make you spiritual provided that avalsha 5th 9th these are strong then you will become spiritual okay otherwise hmm if the dusthalas are prominent you get into depression you become an addict and anyways <laughs> so it has potential for spiritual growth depending on your efforts and your other placements okay but it comes in a hard way the lessons will come in a hard way unfortunately and number 10 you need extra discipline in that area saturn is the karaga for discipline but retrograde saturn is like to put discipline so for example saturn in first house retrograde one day you skip your exercise and you don't get sleep next day some problem or the other is there in the body you are spending money this that and all, all the craziness is there and as i said if you know your 6th house is prominent 6th lord 8th lord dasha is running so you you cannot take holidays <laughs> like saturn in 10th or 10th lord you take a holiday and then your job is gone all right <laughs> now of course it may not reflect in one single day or a minute or an hour or a week or a month but it will be quicker the punishments are instant with retrograde saturn all right so yeah um, if you have saturn retrograde in a particular house and lording one or two houses then you need to understand that you cannot commit sinful activity related to that house for example saturn associates with the fifth so affairs very 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 dangerous okay stay away from it okay and even if you are not married and you are in a relationship don't look at other other members of the opposite sex don't do flirting and all this very dangerous don't contact you will you will be caught right so <laughs> so, so you have to be on guard all the time that are retrograde in fourth don't don't leave your home open and you know just go somewhere with the, with the keys you know just don't do that of course nobody does but you have to be extra conscious and cautious you know somewhere water is leaking this is happening that is happening be conscious with in regards to the houses that saturn rules and where saturn is placed all right thank you so much for your patience don't forget to the, to subscribe to the channel if you're new and for personalized consultations you will always find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of where your saturn is retrograde jai sri ram